Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. I have not uploaded in about four weeks, I think, which is definitely not what I planned, but I had a bunch of other things that I was working on, especially during this like COVID-19 situation. I hope all of you guys are staying inside and staying safe and practicing social distancing, obviously. It's been hard not being able to see all of my friends and everything and my family. I have a grandma that is in a care home that is literally just down the street from me and her health has been declining pretty badly over the last like week and a half and we're not allowed to go see her. So it's been really hard on my whole family lately. So yeah, I've been doing some other things recently. <laughs> but one of the things that I have done is actually start a podcast with one of my best friends and we're really excited about it and I am hoping you guys will love it too. So I will leave a link to listen to it either on Spotify, SoundCloud, and Apple Podcasts. We are called Not Your Therapist. It is a really fun, like, I want to say advice podcast where we just kind of talk about things that are going on in our lives. We are going to have guests. We already have an episode coming out next week where we have our first guest and we actually just recorded our third episode this morning from our own houses, of course. <laughs> so if you're into listening to podcasts and you need something else to do while we are all stuck at home, then definitely check it out. I will have it in the description box below. Like I said, I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and staying at home. So while I have been staying at home, I've been decluttering my entire makeup collection and reorganizing all of it. So I wanted to film that. If you are new to my channel and this is the first video you've ever seen of me, hello, welcome, I hope you enjoy it. My name is Brittany and I make cruelty-free beauty videos as well as lifestyle and fashion videos like hauls and stuff. So if you like that, definitely check out all the other videos on my channel and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started with this video. The first makeup drawer that I'm going to go through happens to be the one that I keep all of my powders and concealers in. This is one of the most overcrowded drawers in my entire makeup collection and it is definitely time that I go through it. So the first thing that I'm doing is taking everything out and then I'm cleaning whatever type of organizer that I have inside and putting it back in. And then I will start to go through all of the pieces individually and put them back inside. Now I do skip through this part for pretty much the rest of the video just because um, I'm not really going to be showing every single item of makeup that I'm getting rid of and I'm just going to show you guys all the stuff that I decide to actually keep and how I'm putting it back into my drawer organizers and just basically how I like to keep everything organized just because for me personally when I watch makeup declutter videos this is the part that I actually like to watch I like to see how people are organizing things and you know a little bit of their actual makeup collection that they are actually keeping so this is just what I'm doing I have a small section here for the concealers that I'm using and most of its powders. I obviously get sent a lot of makeup, so you're gonna be seeing a lot of makeup in this video. <laughs> Next, I'm going through all of my old mascaras, some that I just have been using for a very long time. Or maybe not using, but they have been open and in my collection for a long time. So obviously I'm getting rid of older mascaras, older brow products that have been open for a long time and obviously I'm not using them anymore. Those types of things, if they're like liquid products, will go bad after like six months of being exposed to air. So it's a good time to, you know, go through all of the things that you have in your collection, especially if while you guys are staying at home at the moment and go through things that have been opened and are definitely past their expiration date. And as you can see here, a lot of these products are still in the packaging. So this is all of my backups that I have not gotten a chance to use yet. Like I said, I get sent a lot of makeup. So I have things in, you know, separate containers that haven't been opened yet and that I do want to try. Obviously, whenever I go through other ones, that's been something I've been trying to do lately is actually go through a product before opening a new one. So on the left, there's all of the ones that I'm currently using and have been opened recently. Here we have yet another extremely overpacked makeup drawer of foundations and tinted moisturizers. These are some products that honestly I have not gone through 
in well over a year and these are things that are super old I don't use them anymore I just haven't gotten a chance well I've definitely had a chance I just didn't want to go through all of this stuff because there's just so much and I was definitely the type of person just to pack everything into the drawers and then just deal with it later and now later has become like two years so I'd say it was definitely time to go through all of my makeup and the way that I'm organizing these are by tinted moisturizers together in like one area as well as primers and then having the actual foundations in another section just so that I can tell exactly like like what I need as soon as I look at it. The drawer that I keep all of my blush in was actually pretty okay as far as organization goes. It just was a lot. And as you'll see in a little bit, there was also a ton just like pushed in the back <laughs> like all of this it's insane so I decided to go through it and I didn't want to have to have too much product like pushed in the back because that's just ridiculous and if you're curious I will be either donating the makeup that I can donate or just giving everything to friends that's still usable and then obviously recycling all the products that have gone bad or just that I can't use anymore if it's not the right shade or whatever so yeah that's what I'll be doing I want to be responsible about it obviously and I have some of these containers the ones that you see on the left are from by allegory and I'm pretty sure you can get ones like this on Amazon it just makes it really easy it makes everything you know more accessible because it separates all of them so it's really easy to access and then I just have all these other containers most of the stuff that I use to organize my makeup if it's not from by allegory is actually just from the dollar store so check that out if you are looking for some organization tools for your makeup or just you know anything else and um yeah I didn't really get rid of too much stuff as far as blush goes because a lot of it is powder and that can last for a long time I just got rid of ones that I just didn't like or use anymore. The bronzers and highlighters drawer is another section that has a lot of product in it and I wanted to get rid of some just because of the volume situation. So I kept the ones that I really like, the ones that I use the most, which is actually a lot. I do go back and forth between bronzers, blushes, highlighters quite often because they last so long. They're powder products. You don't really need to worry about them going bad very quickly. So I do get a lot of use out of these products and I obviously like to keep a variety of drugstore and high-end, especially for different types of makeup tutorials that I do and obviously just for day-to-day -day purposes. You also might notice a bit of a trend in the way that I organize my makeup and that is to stack things like vertically so that you can see all of your makeup as soon as you look at it so you're not like lifting too many products to get to something below it. So if it can stack vertically then that's how I'm gonna store it. I honestly hate looking at this drawer. This is a drawer that I have not gone through in, I want to say like two, three years. I have so much stuff in here that I have just not gotten rid of in such a long time. And I've obviously kept adding new things to it. So uh, like this was so overdue for me to do this. And since I have been like self isolating and there's not a whole lot to do, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do all of this at once. So obviously I took everything out and cleaned it. And then I'm just putting a few of the things, I mean, it's not really a few, it's still a lot, but I'm putting just, you know, like a fraction of the things that were in there back. And then I moved over to my other lipstick drawer and I just can't believe how much makeup I have in this. It's kind of ridiculous, but it is my job. So, you know, I guess it's kind of justified. <laughs> I definitely don't want anyone to feel like they need even like a portion of this much makeup. Obviously, I'm extremely thankful to have this as my job and get a lot of this product sent to me that I can try out. And it doesn't mean you need to go out and buy every single thing that you see, but yeah. So basically in this drawer, I kept all of my higher end lip products in here. Some of my favorite ones from like Too Faced, Bite, Urban Decay, and I just organized them in a better way that is more accessible to me. And I also put in some of the Bite lip pencils in there that I got sent recently. They're amazing. So I just made sure that I have all the stuff in here that I actually do use now. Mm -hmm. 
I love eyeshadow palettes. I've been collecting these eyeshadow palettes for so long. I've purchased so many of these, but obviously I've also been sent a lot of them. Eyeshadow palettes are something that I want to use like a different one all of the time because they're just so fun and you can make so many different looks out of them. So I wanted to reorganize these and keep the high-end ones separate from the drugstore. So if I specifically wanted to do a drugstore look on my YouTube channel, then I would go to a different area to look for that. So this is all of the high-end eyeshadow palettes that I have. Eyeshadow palettes are also a really great thing to organize vertically like this because they are typically shorter so they will fit in most drawers and this is like a life-changing way of organizing makeup especially if you have a lot of eyeshadow palettes instead of having to lift them up and find something underneath it and just forgetting what you have so obviously this is a lot of eyeshadow products but it is just a really great way to organize them like this if you have them at home and other palettes too of course so in the other drawer where I had my drugstore lipsticks um, I decided to add my favorite drugstore eyeshadow palettes so that they were also super easy to access and since I had a little bit of extra room in there I decided to add my false lashes so I just stuck that in the corner and then put that NYX palette back on top so that it would still close and I made sure that nothing was gonna get jammed if I opened it again. And my very last drawer that I went through in my makeup collection is my single eyeshadows and cream eyeshadows. So obviously I decluttered the ones that were older, ones that I don't use anymore. And then I also put in a bunch of my loose pigments that I have from Naked Cosmetics. And I've collected those a lot over the years, especially from eye mats. And then later I did put in my glitter eyeliner, but I didn't film that part, but that's it. So that is everything that I decluttered and reorganized in my makeup collection. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and let me know what types of videos you would like to see on my channel in the comment section below. Hopefully soon I will be able to film some more stuff with the basement suite that we were working on. That'll be really fun to do. So I hope you guys will enjoy those videos. And until then, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and continuing to stay safe and healthy and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!